Okay, so we can look at this in another way in terms of a change in flow speed. So if we start with a flow speed of um, 100 centimeters per second, and it goes down to 10 centimeters per second, we can watch the effects on the erosion and transport of the sand. So we start at 100 uh, centimeters per second. Basically, we can trace that line over, and it intersects somewhere in the middle of the cobbles. So everything that's a finer grained than cobbles uh, is uh, transported in that zone. Anything that's larger would be deposited, um, but it might not be moving if we're starting our flow speed at 100. So then if we go down to a flow speed of 90, which is one line down, uh, we're still in the cobble zone here, so, but a little bit finer. So we still have cobbles being transported, but maybe as it slows down, uh, some of the larger ones are being deposited. We can continue down here until we get to a flow speed, uh, let's say, at this line. And as the flow speed decreases, you're going to be accumulating more and more cobbles because the larger ones can't actually be deposited. Then we can go over here to this is where we transition uh, into pebbles. And that's at 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, a flow speed of 40. Right. So at a flow speed of 40, we have everything that's pebble size. I should say less than or equal to, because it includes those. A pebble is tr uh, transported, and we have all of the cobbles uh, being deposited here. Okay. So flow speed goes down even more, uh, say to uh, 20 centimeters per second, which is about in here. We have everything that's finer than uh, small pebbles. being transported, and we have uh, pebbles uh, being deposited. When we finally get down to 10 centimeters a second, for example, then we have uh, very coarse sand being transported. And everything larger than that um, being deposited to be, for example, granules. Okay. So if you have a fast flow that's slowing down through time, we end up with a deposit of coarser grains getting finer through time. So if we looked at it in terms of layers, what we would see is the largest grains at the bottom, and they would get a little bit smaller going up through time.